Nearly $5 billion is the amount NASA wasted on Boeing to develop the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft for the commercial crew program. Ten years is the time we've been waiting for the first Starliner crewed test flight. What a terrible waste of resources. Meanwhile, with less funding and half that time, SpaceX Crew Dragon has done extraordinary things and become NASA's powerful right hand. It's a shame that a company with a history of more than 100 years was easily defeated by a 22-year-old startup that was ridiculed from its early days. Even Boeing's humiliation has recently been pushed to a higher level as SpaceX Dragon continues to mark new history. It over SpaceX Crew Dragon just completely humiliated Boeing's Starliner. Although NASA was disappointed earlier this month to lose its first chance at a moon landing in the Peregrine mission, the success of SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule in the latter mission has at least given them some consolation. On January 18, SpaceX Falcon 9 carried successfully the company's Dragon spacecraft into orbit under Axiom Space's Axiom Mission 3 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Axiom 3 is the third all-private astronaut mission, sending four multinational crew members to the space station. Go Ax 3! Congratulations to Axiom Space and SpaceX on a successful launch. This mission shows the power of American innovation and ingenuity. Together, with our international and commercial partners, NASA will further our reach in the cosmos for the benefit of all humanity, said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. On January 20, Dragon with those four astronauts docked safely at ISS. Everything went smoothly, signaling that Crew Dragon had once again excellently completed the assigned task. Four crews in this mission are considered the pioneers for redefining the pathway to low Earth orbit, LEO and helping chart a course toward Axiom Station, the world's first commercial space station. This is one part of NASA's strict plan to replace the aging ISS before it dies in 2030. So, it's safe to say that in terms of time, the emergency of this mission is highly evaluated. What if Dragon encounters a problem that results in an indefinite delay or, even worse, a catastrophic failure along the way? Fortunately, SpaceX Dragon still stands unrivaled as the best spacecraft in the world now. Otherwise, to put it more gently, NASA will not have any alternative at this time. Sierra Space's Dream Chaser space plane is just in its early stage of development, whereas Boeing's Starliner, well, has long been a nightmare for both NASA and taxpayers. The first crewed test flight of Starliner has been pushed back an additional month to no earlier than mid-April 2024. No reason was given for the change. The target date for the first operational flight of the Boeing spaceship has also been delayed, to early 2025 from summer 2024. The Crew Flight Test CFT, mission has faced a series of delays due to various technical problems, pushing its liftoff back repeatedly. For example, CFT had been slated to fly in July of last year, but that plan was scuttled after teams discovered issues with Starliner's wiring and its parachute system. Perhaps no one thought that one day Boeing would fall into such a tragic situation. How funny to rethink the fact that in 2014 when the contracts for NASA's commercial crew program were awarded to two companies, Boeing and SpaceX, everybody including some members of Congress even poo-pooed Elon Musk and his SpaceX company as little more than a delusional billionaire's fantasy. By contrast, Boeing stood out with a legacy in aerospace that stretched back more than 100 years and a role in every major moment in NASA's history. Oh, Boeing is a legacy company, just let Boeing do it. NASA was also very cautious as they gave Boeing the lion's share, slightly more than 60% of the $6.8 billion NASA awarded, equivalent to $4.2 billion. With the same amount of work, SpaceX just got $2.6 billion. But just with that $2.6 billion, the young private company made history. The May 30, 2020 launch of SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule with astronauts aboard is the first crewed launch to orbit by a private corporation, but also a signal for the end of the era in which only government-owned spacecraft achieved such feats. So far, Crew Dragon has played an important role in NASA's major missions. Back on June 7, 2023, SpaceX noted on X that they successfully launched 38 missions to the ISS for its capsule besting the 37 such flights that NASA's Space Shuttle orbiters racked up. This shows how great its safety level and its reliability are. Not only safe, 
Dragon also stands out with its modern capsule design, giving astronauts comfort during the long journey to orbit. Let's verify this through the sharing of astronauts who enjoyed the convenience inside Dragon. According to NASA astronaut and pilot Megan MacArthur, who went into the ISS on SpaceX's spacecraft during the Crew-2 mission, the ride was really smooth. We couldn't have asked for anything better. Another astronaut, Thomas Pesquet, who accompanied MacArthur, also was fired up the ride up was fantastic, as you can see it's pretty roomy, he said. Adding, the inside is very comfy and we feel very well protected. It was a lovely ride. It was the softest docking I've ever felt. Axiom 2 Commander Peggy Whitson radioed SpaceX flight controllers, referring to three earlier trips to the station aboard a space shuttle and Russian Soyuz ferry ships. Very well done. We do aim for excellence, a controller replied. And on behalf of SpaceX, it's been a pleasure working with you. Obviously, we do not know yet if NASA's astronauts feel the same when they sit inside Starliner because this vehicle has not flown yet. At the time I made this report, SpaceX's Crew Dragon had completed the Crew 7 mission and is in preparation for Crew 8, which is targeted for no earlier than mid-February. Meanwhile, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft still hadn't gotten off the ground with astronauts. Indeed, after Starliner's first successful try to dock with the ISS in May 2022, NASA waited for Boeing's first crewed flight test that would send a crew of two to the ISS for a short stay. This is the final test flight of Starliner, which will be cleared to begin operational flights after the results of this test are evaluated. Although it had an original goal of 2017, various delays pushed this back many times and the latest announcement for the test's date, as we know, is no earlier than mid-April 2024. Boeing's delays prompted NASA to extend the contract to SpaceX covering eight additional Crew Dragon flights to the space station, each lasting up to seven months at an average cost of $277 million per mission. From 2014 to 2023, SpaceX's entire commercial crew contract was valued at more than $4.9 billion, according to NASA. However, the $4.9 billion that SpaceX got was used more effectively than the nearly $5 billion that Boeing initially got. As of July 2023, Boeing reported a $257 million charge in the second quarter for its Starliner astronaut spacecraft program, bringing the program's to-date overrun costs to $1.5 billion as delays continue. Since a nearly $5 billion fixed-price contract to develop Starliner was awarded in 2014, the company has recorded losses on the program almost every year. The annual losses have ranged from $57 million in 2018 to $489 million in 2019. Not only that, a fee for a Starliner seat is not cheap, roughly $90 million, more than the $55 million on a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft or even what NASA pays Roscosmos for Soyuz seats. This is a nightmare not only for NASA but also for taxpayers. Imagine how bitter you feel when a large amount of tax money paid every year is wasted on a fruitless project that stalls for a long time. It's so weird no matter how bad it is, Starliner's project has not yet been cancelled. Both NASA and Boeing are still preparing for the vehicle's first crew flight test. We don't know how NASA will allocate missions to Boeing spacecraft in the future. However, there is an obvious truth that SpaceX's Dragon will still be an irreplaceable vehicle and a powerful right hand for national programs in the long run. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high-quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.